Hi YouTube, this is Lester Chua 73 with another quick review or quick comparison between two very popular Patek Philippe watches. On your right, you have the uh, Patek Philippe Calatrava 5296 in rose gold and sector dial. And on the left, you have the 5711 uh, Nautilus in full steel. Now, why am I doing review of uh, comparison of these two? Now, the, the uh, MSRPs for these two pieces are roughly the same. Um, it's only $4,000 Singapore dollar difference. Now, the Calatrava is asking for about $36,000, while the uh, 5711 is asking for about $40,000, $41,000. But that's the MSRP. As for the actual asking prices, well, uh, in terms of resale prices, the 5711 is asking more like ninety to 110000 Singapore dollars. Alright, let's take a look at these two pieces. They have many similarities and differences. Um, let's talk about the case first. For the 5296 Calatrava, the case is of course made of solid rose gold and uh, with the flat bezel, long lux, and it's extremely thin and it's expected to be for a dress watch. But if you look at the 5711, it is almost as thin as the 5296 and that is amazing considering that it is a sport watch and it fits very well. Both these watches fit very well under your shirt cuff, be it on a suit or for casual wear. But of course for casual wear, the 5711 would be more suitable. All right, that's the case. In terms of the dial, they are of course vastly different as well. For the 5296, it is a one-dimensional dial that is printed with the sector design or railroad track design. But for the 5711, the dial is uh, more uh, layered, if I could say so. Uh, there is this uh, rich design, which is lighter on the center, and it is uh, it has applied baton hour markers, which is uh, very nice, filled with luminous material, of course. In terms of the crown, as you can see for the Calatrava, the crown is not screwed in. And this particular design has a water resistance rating, if I'm not mistaken, of about 30, 30 meters only. So it's compared to the uh, Nautilus, the crown is screwed in and is resistant to 120 meters, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Um, of course, the next key difference is in their bracelets. Their bracelets for the Calatrava, it is a gorgeous alligator strap with a shiny finish. Very supple, very well made. Whereas for the 52, 5711, sorry, it is stainless steel in a tapered design. Of course, the stainless steel is more hard wearing. You can just wash off any grime and you can reuse it again. Whereas for the alligator strap, you have to change it every few years. Um, now, another key similarity between these two guys is of course their movements. Both these pieces sport the Patek Philippe workhorse, the 324SC, with all its glory and all its uh, hot horology features. All chamfered edges, polished screw heads, etc. So these two guys, these two watches actually sport similar hearts inside. Mm. Now this is just a quick review, quick comparison. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you do like my videos, please do subscribe and like. And uh, see you for more videos next time. This is Lester Chua73 saying thank you for watching. Ciao.